welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, so I was at work today and I just had this massive light bulb moment and I thought, oh, I, I couldn't wait to get home and get the room ready and start, you know, filming the videos today because I just had this massive awareness. The last video that I posted up it talks about one of Rika's teachings, right? And she, one of her favorite things is to tell us to love that about yourself. Whatever it is, right? You just say that you love that about yourself. So, uh, that you're kind to others. I love that about myself, right? I love that I'm kind to others. I love, for example, I'm really impatient, right? I want everything done now. <laughs> so, patience is not my strong, strongest virtue so you know the idea would be to say i love that i'm impatient right i love that about myself and so it goes right the whole list because the previous video was talking about us learning to love ourselves right that that was the whole gist of the last video but then today i'm standing there and i thought for a few weeks after i would had that teaching from rika and I'll post her website under again in case that's something you're interested in doing because uh, there are so many wonderful things that come out of her courses and they're all aimed at you looking at you. There's just no other better place to be, right? <laughs> I mean, yes, that's, that's what you're here for, even, though you're, even if you're not aware of it. That's what you're actually here for, all the experiences that you get to have. You, not what's out there but anyway so I would spend a few weeks doing that right going through the list of all the things I feel are my strong things you know my kindness my generosity I love that about me I love that about me and go through all the things that weren't so strong you know like the impatience and I love that about me <laughs> you know and even going through moments in my life where I have been mm, unkind to others right I love that I've been unkind to others but at the time I was just saying the words I love that about me I didn't feel it and today was the first time I realized why <laughs> why why I haven't been able to love that about me or why it didn't feel true in my heart at the time and the reality is, okay, I encourage you to do this today. Make a list of all your traits, right? Of whether you are kind, generous, caring, loyal, whatever. Make the list. Make the list with everything. Make the list when you've been unkind. Make the list when you're impatient. Make the list when you're selfish. All of that, make that list, right? Make the, the what we would call the good <laughs> and the not so good right whatever it is make the lists you can put them into two columns actually it might be a good idea to do that the ones that you find are positive and the ones that you find are negative now here's the rub right it's your judgment of that that is not allowing you to love it it's your judgment when you've been unkind you can't forgive yourself for what you've done to that other person. That is all judgment. You are judging that being unkind is not a good thing. It's a negative thing. Or you're judging that that was wrong. Still, judgment. And that judgment is what's not allowing you to love that about yourself. No matter what it is that you've done or said or been in your lifetime. It's that judgment that's holding that in place. So I want you to really think about that today. Because something else came up in my awareness as I was going through that. What if those moments that you are unkind to someone else, unkind, and you see that as a negative thing, you see that as that was wrong, you should never have done that, it was a mistake, whatever other things you want to throw at it that are still all judgments by the way what if those moments that you were unkind to another person 
was exactly what that person needed in that moment for their evolution, for their spirit. Does it make that unkindness a wrong thing now? Does it make that unkindness a bad thing? Mind you, your unkindness would have come from a place of pain, from a place of your hurting inside. You're not in a good place because when you are in a good place, you can't be unkind to other people. <laughs> we're usually unkind to others when we're in a bad place. We're hurting inside. Right? So you were already in this space of hurt, of pain, of suffering inside yourself that caused you to be unkind to someone else. And it's not that I'm trying to justify that you were unkind, but there's two sides of it. There's the side that you can only be unkind when you're in a space of hurt and pain and suffering. So there's that side of it. You have to be, you have to acknowledge that. You have to be aware of that, that that's why you were unkind. But on the other side, the person that received the unkindness, they needed that to move them along their journey, their spiritual journey. They needed you to be that for them. They needed you to say those things. They needed you to do those things for their spiritual evolution. So when you look at it that way, does it make it wrong? Does it make the unkindness a bad thing? Or can you now look at the unkindness and say, I love that about me. I love that I've been unkind. And with that, everything, everything else, or everything else on your list, the good things you'll find very easy to say, I love that about me. I love that I'm caring. I love that I'm generous. I love that I'm tolerant. I love that I'm whatever else is on the list. Kind, because you're not always unkind, right? There are moments where you are kind. You're not always impatient either. There are moments where you're impatient. It's not all the time. But to love yourself, to accept yourself, is to love all of it. To love when you've been kind and to love when you've been unkind. To love when you've been patient and to love when you've been impatient. To love all of it because this is your humanness. This is what you came to experience, being a human. What it feels like to be a human, having this experience. And for that, we need the polarities. We need the opposites. To know kindness, you need to experience unkindness. One does not exist without the other. It's such an important thing to understand. Just as darkness cannot exist if there's no light. You can't have cold without hot. You need to have both to experience, to know the difference. Oh, this is cold because hot exists. If all we ever knew was cold, there's nothing to compare it to. And whether it's cold or it's hot isn't good or bad, it just is. So why can't everything about us be the same? Being kind just is. Being unkind just is. It's not good and it's not bad, but we need both. We need both to experience what that feels like. All right, my darlings, I love you guys dearly. So I'd like you to sit with that today. I'd like you to sit with what are the things within me that I'm finding difficult to love or to accept? What are the things about me that I cannot accept, that I cannot love in this moment? And have a look at why. What judgment is holding that in place? Really think hard about it. 
It's very important because it's for you, for you to be free. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Time to end the video. <laughs> All right, my darlings. I love you dearly. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.